Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Mindustry and we're going to do Overgrowth so we can protect our vulnerable at sector 210. Alright, let's jump in, let's max out our resources and let's see what we have. Where's their base begin? Okay, this is the beginning beginning of their base. Let's find their core. Okay, core found. Yeah, bollocks. There's no easy way. It's all it's all anti-air or even uh, ground as well. At best, we could possibly come down here. I think much the same as we did last level. Just come down there and bomb. First things first, let's get a base established. So we can use our lovely poly schematic. Let's have it going over here though. If I can rotate it the way I want. Yeah, that's going to interfere with the copper, which we do need to get in. Okay, fuck it, that'll do. Um, let's get some mines going. Have to be careful because this is a sand patch as well by the looks of it. Let's try and get two lots of copper going in on one belt, probably. We have it going in there and we use a junction there just to make sure that our belts don't get contaminated. There you go, that's copper. Next, we probably want some lead going in. Don't need a huge amount, but we do need some. There you go, that's good for lead now and then I can see titanium in the corner of my eye. All right, there's going to need to be a junction as well. In fact, we're going to need a couple of junctions and then the titanium. Already our core looks a bit overfilled, so to speak, as in a bit tight to get places. We'll work it out though, as always. Yeah, we go around the bottom of those guys. So let's just go like this. And then we can go up here. And finally, we'd need graphite. Um, There's a big coal patch. Where are enemies going to come from, though? This will be the question. Yeah, it's a bit tight on this level by the looks of it. There's not much space. There's no wide open spaces. That's what you ideally want, but that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Just to have like wide open spaces everywhere with loads of big patches of resources. Oh, no, 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 no. We have none of that in industry. Right, so we need our G fight press. There we go. Is that a good area? That's going to block things. Let's try and move it to the side a little, in fact. There you go. That's as side as we can get it done. And how are we going to get this in? All right, we're going to have to go around here, down here, and go around our air factory. I'm going to leave a bit of space because what I'm going to do is if I can, if I have the resources, I'm going to put this down. Um, yeah, we've got the thorium for it. So yeah, I'll stick that down as well. And then hopefully we'll just be able to, well, I don't even need to stick that down. I can just change it. Change what we build. First, I'm going to get like four or five uh, polys to help me build things. There we go, we're building polys now. So when I click on it, it says command unit, no command mode, no units. So I think I need to wait for the mono to go in there. And then, no, it still doesn't give me the uh, ability to change what they do when they come out. Right, good. This is pretty much all our basic resources done. All right. So you're going to assist player. 
we'll wait for a while, see where the enemy comes from, and then we'll work out how we're going to build our defense. We probably want to get some silicon going in the core, which is relatively easy to do. Okay, we need power, but it is just... How do I change the command mode? Anyone knows this game, please let me know. So I can just have it automatically that they come out and assist me, rather than me having to mess around and... Uh, do them all to, oh, there's so many ways they can just weave their way around. I suppose if I block off over here, at a couple of walls that stops them coming this way. Or should hopefully stop them coming this way. All right, no, nope, not like that. All right, so they won't be going over there anytime soon. All right, everyone assist player, please. We we'll have one more. So if that's blocked off, then that means pretty much down here, around here, right. Where was that unit coming from? It says it's a high, okay, I can't see. I have no idea where that's come from. It sticks. It says it's a high base, a high difficulty base, but oh shit. Okay, I see why it's a high difficulty base. We got this bastard here. That's not gonna be easy to kill. So he's gonna go but can he go around that? No, nope. he's going to go down here, down here, and then through here, perhaps. Yeah, I think that's got to be the way. That's going to be the quickest way to the core. All right. So we can quickly fix this. And by fix, I mean defend this. We're going to build some more graphite. Right, let's put our factory down here, and then we're going to do something. I don't know what, but something. Have we got the copper? We have. Okay, brilliant. All right, let's hope he actually comes out here. Which build a salvo to start off with. All right, fuck off, everyone. Let's get these built. Brilliant. Wow, so quickly there. Might as well build another couple. And another couple the other direction as well. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, touch my mouse. That should hold them back for a little bit. Alright, where's he coming? He's coming. There he is. He is coming, slowly but surely. Yeah, I think he's going to come this way. Alright. So they're all assist player. We're now going to change this to flares. And then that will start building something different. Which is going to need graphite and silicon. Okay, so we do want to get some silicon up and going. Where are you going, buddy? Brilliant. Let's build. Oh, we got the new spectre. We could actually build one of these. What's it take? That does graphite as well. Air and ground. We don't have resources to keep building these though, but let's just build a couple of those. They look bad. And then we'll do a line down here. And then we'll do a few more salvos. And then we will put a wall down. But we're going to leave a gap so they can actually get their way around. Good. I'm happy with that. We're safe. We're secure. Now we just need to build loads of these. So let's actually move them to about fuck, <laughs> there, that hole, <laughs> that whole further distance. Um, and yeah, we'll build those up and then we're going to bomb the shit out of his base, hopefully in one go. But we'll see. Oop, nope. Okay, we got these boys coming. Hey, buddies. Wow, look at that go. They're not getting anywhere. So we do want to get silicon in, otherwise this will run out. So how are we going to get silicon? Silicon is coal and sand and power. There's a good coal patch. That's going to shoot at us if we go that way. There's a good coal patch as well. I'm not a brilliant coal patch, but a coal patch. Yep, okay. We're going to build our silicon factory about here. And we're going to need coal and sand. So... But let's hope they don't do air units. Right, this is a bit of a scrappy patch of coal we're working on here. I'm sure we can wangle our way around though, as always. And we get this bit of coal over here to join the lines up. I have a feeling this level's going to be incredibly easy. We'll see though. 
I mean, building the base afterwards is going to be a bit shit because there's just no space anywhere. Right, so that's coal sorted. So sand we can bring from here, I suppose. Did we get lead going in? We did. So these are just silicon and yeah, brilliant. All right, and we're going to need a router and a junction because the road wasn't built or the conveyor wasn't built. And then silicon can just go straight down, avoiding the rest of the coal, which we may be needing at some point. And then that can go in there. And then we have silicon being made, which means our units will continue to get built. And we can go on the war path in the not too distant future. Shit, copper's running out. Um, I need to get the coal going then, don't we? Without coal, there's no silicon. Yeah, bollocks, copper. Deconstructing, you gonna give us any copper? Not really. Shit, we don't actually have silicon, we need power going as well. How are we gonna work this power? Well, the only coal's over here. Still sending units that we can deal with, no problem. Fuckers. They are attacking our walls though. Um, let's actually build them higher up then. They don't need to be down there. There we go. And for the power, I'm just going to have to cheap it, aren't I? So for that, we're going to do one, two, three. And power, which is going to do the bog standard combustion generators. And there you go, we've got silicon going in, as well as graphite, and that's everything we need, graphite and silicon. That's it, brilliant. Yeah, we're not making a brilliant amount of power. We can have these going up as well, and that should help our power production maybe a little. Seems that sand's in short supply at the moment. Not really coal. Alright, oh, okay, we're missing this dude. There you go, that's getting that sand in. Brilliant. Are we ready to do it already? So, let's just pause and have a look over. The only way you can, well, there is another way you can move the screen like this, but the only way I know is to do this. Yeah, fuck, that's just an easy one-off bombing run with some decent units. And then we got the level licked. I don't know why this is a high base, it's not that hard at all. In fact, I'd be surprised if Mindustry, <laughs> all the levels are probably much the same, you just build up loads of bombers. Right, okay, you guys. You go on rebuild. Nope, you go on repair. Has that been attacked by something? That's not good. Let's hope they don't get killed. They are. They're going to do something dickish, aren't they? They're going to run in front of the enemy. Yeah, I think we'd reach our maximum amount of bombers. Right, so up, up. Nope, nope. Shoot me. How are the bombers doing? They're all dead now, aren't they? He does have the mender. That could be a problem. Yeah, we've not done it. Alright, our power has run out here because we have no coal going in. That's not a problem though. We can root power down here. That's why we weren't making units. There we go. It might even be worth getting some coal going in. I don't think I did that on the level I came from. I don't think there was coal coming in. So no coal means there was none stored for straightaway usage. And yeah, we're just going to connect you to there. That copper's not really producing a huge amount, so that doesn't matter if we uh, join in on that line. Um, And we can take out this unloader. And how are we doing for power? Not great. So if we do two, three, four, let's do four more power things. Shitty little uh, combustion generators. One, two, three, four. There you go. 
I am positive now. Brilliant. Oh shit, it says sector captured. We did it. We actually did it. Right, I'm going to change this to monos then. <laughs> that easy. And we have another threat there. So I suppose we should probably try and take that out too. Alright, we don't need any of you fuckers going on anymore. Defences are useless. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to be chasing around the world. Um, going from one place to another trying to get rid of the threats. We'll see, like. Alright, so we could have actually taken this. Derelict. Can we build large solar panels? Ah, right, we haven't got the research for large solar panels. But if we had the research, we could have taken that. Alright. I'm going to do loads of building, or some building, or a bit of building. Can't really see much good coming from this level. Maybe we could get some thorium coming in um, from the scrap. Uh, we probably want to be upgrading our... Why are you not working? Oh, you've got no units. Ah, oh, there you go. I just clicked on it there. Assist player. So before it wasn't doing that, you just normally click, no shift or anything like that, and that guy's going to assist us now. Alright, I'll get a few more of those, do some building, come back when I'm done. Bye. Three, two, one, and we're back in the room. Um, yeah, I've not really dicked around with this one too much. The roots in, they're just, yeah. Not that big, there's not much space to get anything done, so yeah, it's silicon going there, we have our lead coming as usual, I've actually rooted some coal to go in as well somewhere, and that would be alright, uh, this, so if this fills up with coal it starts going back into the port, so we can take coal to new places, so we have thorium going in, we have our thorium mine, powered by water as well. We have our plastanium coming in as well, although we're not getting very much oil. There's something going wrong here. I don't know what. All oh, right, okay. It's probably my measures of buildings to buildings. I probably need, yeah, a few more cultivators to fill those up. But anyway, we've got some uh, plastanium going in. Doesn't need to be a lot. I don't care as long as it's going there. Um, I've also built a few surge smelters. Um, yeah, slightly better design now. Again, not a huge amount of resources going in, but over time it will build up. It will be a little bit going in. And we can actually upgrade our core to the core nucleus, which means currently we can store 9,000 per item. Core nucleus, I think that takes us to 13,000. Yep, 13,000. Was there anything else I built? No, not really. Oh, I built my power over here. Um, yeah, it's not hugely great, but it's it does enough, really. Um, so, yeah, I've got my main things coming in. My copper, my lead. I've got metal glass coming from down here, actually, as well. Uh, got the graphite, got the silicon going in, plastanium, titanium, and a little bit of surge alloy, and thorium as well. So, yep, it's producing everything I need to launch from this place to another one and bring some resources. A uh, bit of a short episode, this one. But, yeah, I think that's it, really. Thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Please give, click like, comment and subscribe. And I'll be back again soon with the next episode. Bye-bye.